That's right. Back at it again, Full Custom Hot Dog here, talking about a film. Exclusive to Shudder, the film Slacks from 2020. And if you don't know what it's about, it's about a pair of killer pants. Doy. Anyways, what does IMDb say about the hit film Slacks? <clears throat> When a possessed pair of jeans begins to kill the staff of a trendy clothing store, it is up to Libby, an idealistic young sales clerk, to stop its bloody rampage. Yes, very succinctly, very simply put, it is a killer pant film. Or pants, I guess. Is it one? It's a pair of pants. It's not one pant. Directed by Elza Kephart, someone who I'm not too familiar with, but taking a look they have done some directorial work in the past, nothing I'm too familiar with, and I don't think anything that's really genre-based, but they have worked on a couple of the X-Men films in the art department, and have worked on a Mummy movie and Red 2, so pretty cool, pretty cool uh, prior works there. This is a very solid little film, like I mentioned, streaming exclusively to Shudder, and I like it because it's not trying to be anything more than it is. It understands that it's a film about killer pants. It does have some deeper messages, but it's really not trying to beat you in the face with it. And it's having fun with its own concept. As it was mentioned, there's a character, Libby, who's starting her first day at this clothing store. And they are known to be hippy-dippy, holistic, uh, not holistic, what's the word I'm looking for? Cruelty-free, GMO-free, all that stuff. And that they take care of the people that work with them. And all of that kind of factors into both the bottom line and the, I guess, the resolution of the film. As they're gearing up for their big sale, Libby's kind of running around for their manager and trying to find the people to help open the store up. But people start to disappear and it becomes harder to find people. And soon Libby starts to help and assist in covering up these murders. But one thing I did like that I was actually kind of surprised by is they did give a reason for the killer pants. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. I don't really do spoilers. And that's kind of a good reason to watch this movie. This is a solid watch. This isn't anything that's gonna blow your mind, but it's something having fun with the concept. Now, one thing I do enjoy about this type of film too, is I think with a concept like this, you should go one of two ways. You either gotta go completely silly and ridiculous. And now this isn't a straight up schlocky goofball comedy, but it is just trying to have fun with this concept. That I like. Don't get too silly or take it really seriously. And then it's just kind of funny in its own right. I almost want to cite Rubber. I think a lot of people tend to mention this and Rubber in the same sentence because they're two films about killer objects. I'm not the biggest fan of Rubber. If we've talked about anything near Rubber, if we've ever talked about tires before, you know how I actually feel about Rubber because I've probably brought up that I don't really care for that movie. I appreciate the director and his consistently wacky vision, but I, I'm not a fan. But I think Slacks handles that concept maybe the way I would have liked Rubber to handle it. Maybe I, maybe I wouldn't mind a remake of Rubber. Grab your pitchforks, grab your torches, round me up, because I would like a remake of Rubber directed by this person, Elza Kephart. She did good here. She did well. She did good job. I think she did a great job handling the concept and kind of delivering us some pretty solid messages overall. Nothing felt ham-fisted. This was all very on point, and I, I genuinely liked what they did. They also turned the pants into a bit of a creature. You see the pant sipping up blood and getting angry, making mean faces. The pockets are acting as eyes. It's kind of a fun little watch, and the pants start to get ballsier with their kills, which I like in any movie. That's one thing I don't like about a lot of slashers. Or a lot of killer anything movies is the killer thing is just killing that one person and then it's on to the next one and everyone goes what happened what happened to the first guy what happened to gary and i i wish more horror movies had a scene where killer whatever flips out and just starts murking people left and right almost like a jurassic world of sorts that's that's something i do like in movies i wish more movies did that we don't get enough of that it's one thing i would add to horror more massacre scenes. Best example, the collection. Opening kill scene is just a total free for all with the killer going nuts. And I love those kind of massacre scenes. I don't know if we don't get enough of those because they're too big. Maybe they require too much blocking. 
but I wish we had more of those. I was hoping we were going to get one in that Texas Chainsaw 3D, but we didn't. It seemed close. Leatherface goes to the carnival, I think. I thought he was going to while out, but he does not. Anyways, I'm, I'm kind of rambling a little bit on a tangent. But this movie does give us some fun scenes like that where pants are getting wild. And you know, if pants get wild, hot dogs about. <laughs> so anyways, kind of a short but sweet little talk about this film. I don't like to get into spoilers, so I'm not going to, but... I liked what they did with this thing overall. I liked where they took it. And it's very... I keep using the phrase solid, but they really did quite a wonder here with a film about killer pants in that it's not stupid. Because this could have, e this could have easily gone wrong in numerous ways. And the director definitely keeps it on track. So I can, I can give this one a recommend. I probably wouldn't buy it. It's not quite there for me, but... If it ended up in my collection, I wouldn't be mad. I, I did enjoy this. So hopefully I'll check it out. And of course, if you checked it out, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm your host, Full Custom Hot Dog. You can follow me on Twitter. It's Full Custom Hot Dog without the last O. Oh, because it is just too long for Twitter. So thank you all for watching. And until next time. If you like what you see. I love what I see. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. So you can watch whatever comes next. And if you like the music you hear, you can follow me on SoundCloud and Spotify. Check the description for links.